Hey there guys and welcome back to Uncharted Drake's Fortune. In the last part we were looking for Elena and we're still doing that now. Uh, let's see, this tower is kind of confused. Oh crap. Oh, this is where we're supposed to go. Okay, in that case, let's just climb in here then. Yeah. Excuse me. Thank you. Sweet, we found some keys. But, what do they do? Where do we go? Go down, can we... Like, survive that drop? For some reason, I doubt it. Oh, crap! No! Ah, nuts. Must have hit the wrong button there. Come on, dead guy. Get off there, we need the key, the, that bloody key. Alright. Oh, hey, a rope. That's convenient. Okay, we made it. Now, what does this key unlock? Hmm, nice little gunner's thingy. I think that's sort like where they placed snipers or archers or something back in the day. I don't know. Let's see, I think there was like some door that needed a key or something. Not this. I know there's one over here somewhere. Bingo. In we go. <laughs> Sweet, we're going in. Into the dark catacombs. Or dungeons or whatever. Let's see, is there anything we can pick up? Or like a gun or something? Yeah, I do wonder that. Where the hell is Elena? I mean, how long have we been looking for her? Like, five videos. And um, pick up a micro SMG. Micro submachine gun or something. And, oh crap. <laughs> Figures. And I really don't have a long range gun. Crab grenade. This might be tricky. I mean, trying to hit targets a ways off with this thing is virtually impossible. And crap grenades. Let's just say I really screwed myself over. But, grenades bam like it's freaking Call of Duty. And hope that works out. Come on, did I get any? Oh, got him. Nice. Come on, you bloody pirates. Or whatever the hell you guys are. Here we go. Mobsters or gang members or whatever. I don't care. You're going down. And it looks like the AK-47 is not much of a long-range gun either. Maybe I need to move up. And I'm running out of ammo. That's not a good thing. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, sweet. We get the broken... Grenade launcher thing, but it only has one shot in it. Well, that sucks. Crap, crap, crap. I need heals. Come on, heal, damn it. Oh, crap, this is not gonna be good. Oh, nailed him in the head. Owned, bitch. And that guy there, he just got owned. But, yeah. Now I am completely out of any form of ammo. Luckily, my old AK is still here. And I think that guy might have dropped something, but I can't really get closer. Ooh, headshot. Nice. Wait, where did that guy drop his gun? I didn't see any triangle prompts. Ooh, explosive barrels. Convenient. Let's see. Oh, sweet. More AK ammo. Just what I needed. Come on out, you bastard. <laughs> Where are you at? There's one. Got him. Hop over here. Run up. Pick up ammo. Although, 35 bullets is still nothing in AK terms. And hey, there's a one of them gate thingies here. Still don't know what they're called. Oh well. 
Looks like it's more climbing the ruins for us. More adventure. I mean, I love this game. It really, really does make me feel like an adventurer. I mean, just because you can totally relate to the playable character for once. I mean, that's not really possible with most, like, games. Like, say you're playing God of War. It's kind of hard to relate to some Greek warrior dude who killed his family and is pissed at the world and everything. Because I highly doubt most of us are angry Greek dudes who killed their own family and hate the gods. Now, Nate here, for example, is just an average Joe looking for treasure. I mean, I'm sure there's like treasure hunters like him around the world somewhere. So, Nate is a really relatable main character, and that's why I like this series so much. Because simply the cast is all... Like, you can really understand their motivations and stuff, and their reactions to everything. They're all pretty realistic. I mean... Infamous, for example, you can also somewhat relate to Cole, but like his behavior and the way he's kind of like uh, sarcastic about stuff. But you can't really relate to the fact that he has electric superpowers and is pretty much fighting crazed goons and all that stuff. I mean, I'm sure there's like people like Nate somewhere in an island. Shooting pirates, no wanting to get treasure. Although they're mainly just shooting pirates right around the coast of Somalia right about now. I love the South Park episode about that one. That was so funny. Anyways, I think we're clear of enemies in this corridor. So, oh, shiny thingy. More submachine gun ammo crap. What you got, huh? I got a turret. Die. Man, I love this turret. It's uber powerful. Can I snap it off and carry it with me like in Halo? Please? Guess not. Ah, oh, man. If the freaking Master Chief can do it, why can't Nathan Drake? Maybe because he's not a super soldier in high-tech armor. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Going down into the crypts. Yeah, this game does get increasingly creepy. I just, like, recorded the final few parts for this. Yesterday evening or night at, like, 3 a.m. Like, I ended at around, like, 3.45 a.m. or something because it got real freaking scary at the ending. Not want to spoil anything or something, but it's just if you're sitting here in your room alone at 3 a.m. playing the final few chapters of Uncharted Drake's Fortune, you will be scared shitless. Take my word on it when we get to like the final few parts of this LP. Huh. These aren't Spanish, they're English. Whoa. Fletcher, we have gone to the Great Tower. I pray. Wow. So you made it. More cryptic riddles and puzzles for us to solve. Ain't that freaking... Oh, crap. Where the hell did they come from? Or... Where the hell did he come from? I think it's the only one. Yeah, I think he came alone. That's never a smart move. Always try to outnumber your enemy. That's like... Military strategy number one. Have the number advantage. Hmm. Yeah, that does look like the tower on that wall drawing. Oh crap. Why are there enemies around every bloody corner? I mean, Drake's a freaking one-man army. 
He's just a no good treasure hunter. Why should he like take on hordes of pirates? I mean, I bet we killed like hundreds of them already. Okay, where's your ammo? I'll take any ammo you have, please. Thank you. Okay. Crap, the stairs is broken. Nope. Ah, oh, sh shoot. What do you mean you can't jump from high heights? I mean, sure, you'd probably break a leg or something, but... Since when is a broken leg gonna stop Nathan Drake? Because he is the most epic adventurer this side of Indiana Jones. I mean, seriously, we need some Uncharted movies. I mean, most video game movies fail because they don't really, like, capture the essence of the games and stuff. But I think an Uncharted movie could actually work. Because it's no fancy special effects or monsters or stuff, whatever. Just some guy exploring ruins and fighting off villains. It's kind of just like Indiana Jones. And those movies worked, so... I can totally see an Uncharted movie working out pretty well. Where'd she go? And man, where the hell is Elena? I thought we saw her. Or did we? Or maybe just mistaken looking ahead or something. Oh crap. Uh, the camera angle is not really working with me right about now. Where do I go? What can I jump on? gets kind of confusing sometimes. Okay, we can uh, drop down on here. And we fall off an instant death, so I'm guessing you're not supposed to fall off there. Okay, take two. Oh crap. Uh, those white things look like they can be jumped on. Uh, what? What the hell happened? I thought I could reach something over there. Okay, try again. Man, this is the hardest platforming I've ever played since Super Mario Sunshine. Okay, so we can't drop down there either. And no, really, Super Mario Sunshine has some hard-ass platforming. I still hate that bloody sandbird level to this day. Nuts. Oh, well. Take... Four or five? It's not six. I think it's either four or five. I don't really know. Yes, got something there. Oh, come on. What the hell was that all about? How did he not reach that? I call bull. Okay, go there. I really, really, really start to hate this platforming segment. I mean, come on. Whatever happened to locking on to ledges and stuff? Ah, we need to go over there. Yeah, the camera angle wasn't really helping me out with that one, you know. Uh, okay, drop down here. I think we got it now. Yeah, now I know where to go. Go left. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Ooh, that was close. Ah. Made it, and we're in. Looks like another freaking armory. Or a treasure trove. I don't know what's in those boxes. It kind of looks like we're in a, some kind of church. Some kind of cathedral, chapel-ish, building-like. This must have been Drake's. So what were you looking for, huh? Well now, that looks familiar. Huh, the ship's never left. Elena! Hey, there she is. Watch this! Oh shit! Looks like we have to take those guys out really freaking fast. Shit. Oh crap! Uh, was that how it's supposed to go? Or... Huh. 
Okay, guess it did, and now we're stuck in a jail cell somewhere. I know I'm not a big-time treasure hunter like you, but I doubt you're gonna find Eldorado in there. How'd you get yourself in this mess? Trying to rescue you, as a matter of fact. Oh, that's so sweet. Traditional sandstone, brick, and stucco. Limestone mortar, huh? How'd you get to know so much about this? My show, episode four, Architects of a New World. Yep, it'll just take a tug to pull these bars out. What? No, wait, are you sure? Get out of my way, Hold on. Hey, Batan, open this goddamn door! Oh, crap. Hey, Drake. Eddie Raja. <laughs> I should have guessed. Fascinating document, huh? Seems like this Sir Francis was in my line of work. Don't flatter yourself, Eddie. <laughs> Always ready to be enemies, eh? <laughs> Tell you what. Lead me to the gold. And I just might let you live. <laughs> Is that it? Is that my deal? Die now, or help you, and die later. Oh, it's a tough call, but you know what? I'll take die now. Daikamu! Listen to me, maggot. I was promised treasure on this goddamn rock. And now, my men are dying. They can't even go outside to take a piss without an armed guard. And I have nothing to show for it! I am making you a fair offer. You help me find the treasure, and the last man alive gets the gold! And the girl, of course. The girl? Oh, Eddie, the girl's long gone. She's probably off the island by now. Going for help. Dai Kujing, you were never very good at poker. I will find her, trust me. How much trouble could one girl be? Well, it wasn't that awesome. So yeah, now we're in Chapter 7, out of the frying pan. And into the fire indeed. So now we're on the back of the jeep. Like, uh, controlling a gun turret, can shoot bullets and grenades and stuff. And everything you hit blows up instantly, which is awesome and adventure just like this game should be. And then, damn, Eddie's goons have a lot of cars. So, but, well, at least now we know who we've been fighting this whole time. Must be goons with that Eddie guy. I guess he's like some kind of rival treasure hunter or something. Or like a mercenary, and probably not a mercenary. He's not well armed enough to be a mercenary. Although, although he did have a fancy golden revolver. Or handgun-ish thing. And damn, Elena can drive pretty well for a woman. Ooh, we're gonna get flamed for that. Without a doubt. Oh crap, he also has bikes. And now we have to shoot him from the side. Is he just like... One of them arcade shooters. I remember like playing a Jurassic Park arcade game somewhere. Like, I think it was in SeaWorld, Florida or something. I think that also had something like this where you stand on the back of a jeep and shot dinosaurs or something. Uh, how I miss my vacation in Florida. I definitely want to do that over again. Visit all the theme parks, like the four Disney parks and the Universal Studios and stuff. Also went to SeaWorld and Cape Canaveral. What, on the left again? But yeah, who knows, maybe I'm coming stateside someday. I know I'm gonna be in England pretty often. Starting next year. Not really pretty often, but from time to time, I guess. Okay, I think that's the last of the enemies. Wow, 
Well, Nate, what were you expecting? It's a woman driving. You're just lucky she didn't drive it straight off the cliff. And now we're riding towards the enemies instead of away from them. Yeah, we should have taken that turn in the first place, Elena. You can drive. Ah, crap. They're getting too close. Okay. Dealt with for now. Ah, it's a nice fancy drive through the jungle. With a road that's actually surprisingly accessible. I mean... I don't really know of that many jungle trails that are easily accessible by jeep and stuff. But then again, the closest jungle to my house is like 5,000 miles away or something. Uh... Oh crap. Oh, that's not good. Blow a hole in the wall. Almost drive off the bloody cliff again. Damn it, Elena. Pay more attention to the road. At least she's not using her cell phone. Like most women drivers. I mean, really, I see some bad drivers when I'm driving through town on my scooter. Uh, Nate? Step on it! Punch it! I can't believe that worked! So who was that guy? Just an old business or so- Oh, look out! Look out! <laughs> okay. Here, grab my hand. Okay. okay. Right. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, but well, you're bleeding. Yeah, it goes with the territory. Let's get the hell out of here. Somewhere? Hey, Eddie! Did you really think you could escape from what? No, no, I just giving the young lady the ten dollar tour. Shut <laughs> it! I bet you're working for them too. What? You thought you could set me up and keep everything for yourselves, hmm? Get down! Damn it! This guy's crazy! Eddie, <laughs> take it easy, buddy. Well, you're out of luck now! And out of road. Now. Give me that map. Hold on. All right. You got me. Fair and square. Hey, don't move. Relax, Eddie. Just get in the map like you asked. I said, hold on. I am. Well, hand it over. Well, now, you told me not to move. Looks like you're going to have to come get it. Hey, come on. <laughs> Holy shit, that was insane! Nate, what were you thinking? You're lucky to be alive right now. What? Them goons are over here too? How the hell did they get here? Or were they already here? Ooh, headshot. I still got it. Guess I'm finally getting somewhat decent at aiming in this game. Fucking pillar. Can't shoot through pillar. Ooh, explosive barrel. Must shoot barrel, because it's fun, and it makes a big fireball. And I like big fireballs, because explosions are awesome. That's why I like to watch Mythbusters, because they always have awesome explosions. And yay, ammo. Oh wait, that's Elena. Don't need to shoot Elena, yet. And blow up the barrel because I like to see fireballs. Even though I already said that like 20 seconds ago. So let's l just open this gate. Move on. Oh. Hey, a jet ski. This was a big mistake. <laughs> no kidding. You know, I should have turned before the bridge. <sighs> <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, come here a minute. I want to show you something. That thing still works? Uh-huh. Check this out. Okay, see this building in the harbor? That's where all the boats coming into the colony would have unloaded their cargo. So if the El Dorado treasure came to this island, it would have had to have come through here. Wait a minute, what? 
What was that? What? Rewind it. Yeah? Wait, stop. Uh-huh. Right there. That's our ticket out of here. Come on. Our ticket out of here? Are you giving up? Maybe you hadn't noticed, but we're kind of outnumbered. <sighs> we're doing fine so far. Oh, Lord. Elena, I don't need your bullet-riddled corpse on my conscience. Let's go. Oh, please. You quit if you want to, but don't use me as an excuse. <laughs> fine. It's me, okay? I am quitting. Are you coming or not? So that's it. You're just gonna forget about the treasure and forget about Drake? <sighs> God damn it, this is not worth dying over. Okay. Okay. Listen, either way, we have to head back to the harbor. Don't worry about it. We can argue about it later. It'll be great. Wait. This time, I drive. Okay. Smart decision, Nate. You will not come to regret it. Alright, hop on the jet ski. It's time for some wave racer. I don't get it. How does a whole colony just drop out of history? Looks like we've got company. Aw oh, man, these goons are freaking relentless and crap explosive barrels. I like fireballs, but not when they're this close. And how the hell? Did Elena get one of them broken grenade launcher things? And how does it have unlimited ammo? Not that I'm complaining. Oh crap, barrels. Steer. Well, I'm actually dodging them pretty well. Except I can really hardly see where the hell they're shooting at me from. Nah, nuts. Well, I guess we'll just do this part in the next part of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. So, thanks for watching, guys.